most famous these days for being something of a punching bag among animation lovers, Shark Tale has become known in many circles as one of DreamWorks' worst animated movies, despite somehow getting an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. And as a result, many, many hours have been dedicated to picking apart absolutely everything wrong with this movie, and considering how much stuff criticizing it is out there, there is a lot about it that could have been done better. However, one thing that I believe is sometimes overlooked is that the very concept of this movie isn't exactly a good one either. And today, i like to go over this in order to show how this movie may have just been doomed to mediocrity and failure from the start. And needless to say, there will be spoilers ahead, so in case you'd like to see the movie for yourself first, you should probably come back to this video another day. You have been warned. Okay, so to start off simply, Shark Tale is meant to be a parody of gangster movies, only set under the sea. And the reason for this probably has to do with the fact that the filmmakers just couldn't resist the loan shark pun. And they certainly pulled out all the stops in this department alright, even getting Robert De Niro to be the head of the shark family as well as Martin Scorsese, who, as you probably already know, directed De Niro in many of his most famous gangster movies, and generally going out of their way to make the sharks an obvious metaphor for Italian people, which in and of itself has caused some backlash. But setting that aside, the allegories aren't exactly subtle here. But because of that, the parody doesn't really work as well as it honestly could have. Because, as I said in a separate video dedicated to talking about parody movies, which you can find a link in the description to, in order for a parody to work, it has to know the genre or whatever else it is that it's parodying, which is not only what makes it funny, but sometimes gives clever commentary on whatever it is they're poking fun at. But that isn't Shark Tale's approach at all. The gangster jokes are only skin deep, and in the end, the writers seem a lot more interested in the story and jokes that can be told in the underwater setting, as opposed to being a more clever parody of mob movies. And in that lies the problem, especially because the concept itself of a mobster parody set underwater doesn't exactly provide many opportunities for more nuanced laughs. Just take a look at the relationship between Lenny and his father. Lino is a tough shark who would devour a small fish village if it pleased him or if they got on his bad side, while Lenny is kind to a fault and actually hates eating fish, even referring to himself as a vegetarian. Now the parallels here are kind of obvious, with Lino being a tough mobster who will kill or intimidate anyone to get what he wants, while Lenny is a kind man who couldn't even hold a gun, much less actually use it, if he tried and absolutely abhors violence by nature. And again, just one example of this is when Lino tries to get Lenny to eat a plate of shrimp begging for their lives, and Lenny eventually responds by breaking a window and setting them free. Yeah, I don't think I even need to tell you what that's clearly a metaphor for. However, the problem here is that sharks have to eat fish. There's no such thing as a vegetarian shark in real life, and if one really is no as nauseated by eating fish as Lenny is in the movie, then they would simply die off. And pretty much everyone knows this about sharks, since they are one of the most famous apex predators on the planet. So as a result, the allegory doesn't really work because what the sharks actually are and what they represent here are completely at odds with each other. 
Because the point of most mob movies is that the gangsters could get legitimate jobs and be just as successful without hurting anyone, but choose to take a more violent, but sometimes seemingly easier, path in life. But because some mobsters do follow some kind of honor code, and even help those in need to a degree, it sometimes brings up interesting questions about organized crime. But because sharks have to eat fish, all of those layers end up being thrown right out the window, as it makes it look like these sharks have to go to the lengths they do in order to just survive. And because their prey is presented as just as sentient as they are, it ends up bringing endless moral questions and dilemmas into the conversation that the writers obviously never intended on having or even thought about themselves. Because if sharks have to eat fish and their prey is sentient, what are they supposed to do? And the movie doesn't take this route in trying to answer that question and instead sticks closer to their portrayal as gangsters which makes the whole thing feel extremely skewed. Because the line between what's necessary and unnecessary in their actions is blurred to such a degree that the whole allegory can end up becoming lost very easily. Now, don't get me wrong. The idea of a shark who hates eating fish isn't a bad one. It just doesn't work in a movie of this nature. Because again, if that's a metaphor for mob killings, then what does it mean when a shark just eats fish because they're hungry? In all honesty, if they really wanted to take this route of the vegetarian shark, then they really should have gone with either one of two options. They could have played it straight like they do in the movie, but they would have been better off doing one of these two things. They could have either embraced the morality angle full throttle and have him refuse to eat fish because they are living beings that have wants and needs of their own and explore the moral dilemmas of what should be done in a situation like that. Or second, they should have used that as a metaphor for something else. Though in this case, their prey would have to be portrayed as simply mindless animals so the morality angle doesn't become an issue. But the point is, Lenny's refusal to eat fish could have easily been used as an allegory for something in the real world that a person wants to do or become, but can't, for whatever reason. And have this be pointed out to him, that he has to eat fish or else he'll die, and that there's no way to change or get around that. And in this case, depending on what the metaphor is being used for, Either he eventually comes to accept that, or is able to find a happy medium between his natural instincts and his own wants and desires. And, like I just said, there were other ways to explore this angle, obviously. Basically, my point here is that the idea behind Lenny, in and of itself, isn't actually a bad one. It's actually a pretty clever idea when you really get down to it. I'm just saying that the way they used it, as well as the whole sharks as gangsters metaphor, was completely wrong here. Because as I said before, what sharks naturally are, and what they represent in the movie, completely contradict each other. And needless to say, that's exactly what a movie that's based on allegory should be trying to avoid. Because one can argue that the plot is not a good one, they can say that Oscar is actually a complete jerk and isn't worthy of sympathy, but a majority of these problems come back to the fact that the fundamental idea behind it was an extremely flawed one that was basically doomed to fail. Because, needless to say, gangsters don't have to kill the people they do in order to survive. I mean, sometimes in context they do, but we as a species don't have to kill each other in order to survive ourselves. But because the movie places sharks and fish at the same level of sentience and portrays them as mobsters on top of that, that's how it ends up coming across. Honestly, 
There was nothing wrong with wanting to do a parody of crime movies. But if they wanted to get it right, they should have picked something where the metaphor could have worked better without unintentionally raising a bunch of moral dilemmas and questions. Like A Bug's Life, for example. The grasshoppers don't need to kill or eat the ants, but use their size and toughness to get them to do all their work and keep them in line which is much more in keeping with how these two species behave in real life, and also what they'd be metaphors for. Something like that would have been a much better starting point for a parody of the crime genre. Sure, maybe that couldn't have fixed all the issues this movie has, but at least it would have been a step in the right direction. Alright, that's everything I've got on that. So now I'd like to hear your opinions. Do you believe that the sharks being an allegory for mobsters is just one of the many reasons why Shark Tale doesn't work? Or do you believe the metaphor was spot on? Please feel free to tell me in the comments below. And as always, you don't have to agree with anything I said in this video if you don't want to. You can absolutely love the movie and feel the allegory was perfect. And if you do, I've got no issue with you. And thank you all for watching. It's all very much appreciated. And I hope to see you all next time.